All right, now let's move to the key of A. The first pattern. One more time. The second pattern. One more time. The third pattern. One more time. Then the fourth pattern. One more time. And the fifth pattern. One more time. Now in this key, I can do the first pattern again. An octave higher. Now, this is the first pattern. I can go backwards. The fifth pattern. And then I can move down to the fourth pattern. Now let's look at how we expand these. Here's my root six, A minor pentatonic, basic form, which is the first pattern. Up here is my A minor pentatonic, root five, basic form, which is the fourth pattern. So let's start by expanding this one. I'm going to move this note down there. I move those two notes up there. Now let's fully expand it, and I'll use this box from my fifth pattern, move up into my first pattern. Move up into my second pattern. Here I've used this much of the neck. Key of A. My next day is here. I'm going to use this much of the neck. From here to here. So here's my root five, A minor pentatonic, which is the fourth pattern. I'm going to move those two notes down here. I'll move that note up here. This is from pattern number five, from pattern number four, pattern number three. All right, now I can go an octave higher. I can expand it below, but on this guitar, I run out of fret, so I can't take it all the way up. Some guitars would allow you to do that. 
Here's what would be the first pattern, but I call it root six, minor pentatonic. I'll move that note here by expanding it. It looks like this. So I'm pulling this box here from pattern number five. Now, I also have pattern number five down here, but because this note here, because I can't play that string open, this note really trips me up. So I tend to not use the full uh, pentatonic pattern down here when I'm in the key of A in this open position. I'll use E all day long because all of the open strings are part of the scale in that key, all right? So it could be expanded like this. That all stays the same. I could move up like that. You know, I use pieces and parts of it, but I don't go down there to play a lot. So that's how you take your minor pentatonic, all five patterns, extract two of them, your first pattern and your fourth pattern, expand them by pulling in sections from the patterns above and below, and map out the neck of the guitar using your first and third fingers.